Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Thomas Halbert. Thomas Halbert. I think that's what we're gonna go with today. No middle name today. I think we're, I think we don't need a middle name today. I don't think we do. <laughs> I don't think we do. Today I am doing a video I have not done in such a long time. You guys, I feel like I've been known for doing my first impressions type of video, type, type of videos like for a long time. And I feel like I haven't done one since I feel like January or something like that. I feel like I have not done a video like this in so long. I have a bunch of new products in front of me. I have the new ColourPop foundations. I have the Jaclyn Hill vaults collection. I have some of the new Too Faced concealers. We have some new Tatcha products, uh, some new ABH products. We have a bunch of new cool products that I'm super excited to try out today. I feel like this is the first time there's a bunch of products that I'm actually so stoked to try out on my channel. Most of these are just brand new and aren't being really talked about right now, but most of these products are pretty overhyped in front of me. That, that just happened. Just, just now. Um, if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. We're pretty chill over here and we enjoy memes. You guys couldn't tell I got my lips dissolved, so I ha I no longer have lip filler in my lips. So we are, you can see my gums when I smile. And hit that bell notification button so you are notified when I post a video. YouTube likes to do this thing where it doesn't like to notify you when I post a video. So the only way you can get a notification is by hitting that bell button. Quickly before we get into the video, um, I did want to let you guys know that I have my merch coming out. I'm not wearing it right now because it's currently in the washer and dryer doing its little cycle moment. So I'm wearing my... Mickey, my Mickey hoodie in place of it. But I do have new merch coming out. It's called Yikes. I'm coming out with a sweatshirt and sweatpants. It's like a little bundle set, but you can also buy it separately. It's gonna be available on shopthomashalbert.com on June 26th. Prices are still being discussed, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be $24.99. I'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on this merch. And I'm so sorry, I know it's so long overdue. I know you guys have been like begging me to come out with more merch and it's finally happening and I'm super excited. So I can't wait to, for you guys to get your hands on it and just wear it and take your pictures. And I'm just, I'm, I'm so stoked. So let's get on into these products. So first things first, we gotta prime our face as always, you know, gotta prime that shit out. Let me take these off, these busted ass glasses. So the first product I have is the Tatcha The Silk Canvas Primer, you guys. This took social media by storm, I feel like. Um, I feel like everyone and their mother was talking about this. I feel like, oh, come on, presentation. Wow. Oh my God, this is, I feel luxurious. Wow. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. This is heavy too. Oh wow, this is so, look. oh my God. <laughs> Hold on, I'm kind of shook. It kind of smells like sunscreen a little bit. This is what it looks like. If my fingers are a little red, it's because I've been eating hot Cheetos. Comes with a little scooper in the thing, so you scoop it out and you can like just apply it to your face. Makes it really sanitary. So this retails for $52 and let me tell you guys, this, getting my hands on this, I'm gonna try to use a little scooper. How much does it say for you to use? What's the instructions say? <laughs> nope, that doesn't say it. Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna wing it. So basically this stuff has been sold out forever. And I just now got my hands on it. I went to Sephora this morning and I was like, I need to get my hands on this goddamn primer. Do upward motions to kind of really get it into the pores. It's not like changing the way my skin looks. Let's see how foundation applies over top of it, but right now I'm kind of like not seeing much of a difference, but it smells decadent. What I'm seriously like the most excited about for this video, it's the new ColourPop foundations. Oh, talk about long overdue. It's called the No Filter Foundation Full Coverage Long Wearing and Natural Matte Finish. There's 42 shades and only $12? $12? How does ColourPop make money? Now I will say the shade range looks pretty nice. This is maybe just me being a little bit too nitpicky. I don't know. I feel like there could just be one more row. Just one, one more row of deeper shades. 
Um, but I mean, 42 shades, this already looks really great. And the packaging is a little confusing to me. I don't know if it doesn't come with a cap because this is a, P a press package. So I don't know if this comes without a cap so that's a little bit that means it could just be a little bit messy if you're not careful but it is one of those like um caps that you can twist open and then squeeze and then twist close and then it won't like go down so um i'm not wild about the packaging but i'm not hating the packaging of it it's 12 dollars. so this is fair 20. that looks pretty good 30 is next let's see what fair 30 looks like Ooh, this might be the one. And that's Fair 10. I think Fair 30 is the winner. Ooh. Yo, I don't know if it's like the primer mixed with this foundation, but my skin looks so good. And it's not, the foundation's not lifting anywhere. Sometimes with foundations, I'll notice it to like lift on my nose. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely full coverage. I would say medium to full, definitely. I wouldn't say like Huda Beauty full coverage or like Marc Jacobs Remarkable full, full coverage. I am so blown away by this foundation so far. So the next thing is something that I feel like no one is talking about or has any hype behind it. I'm actually kind of surprised because, I don't know, I feel like maybe this brand has lost their kind of sparkle when it comes to hype around social media. But it's the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have seen no one talk about this. This is like brand new. This apparently has super coverage, not full coverage, but super coverage. And it can be used for uh, cream contouring, um, concealing, highlighting, all that stuff. I do have some other shades that I'm gonna try and use for um, contouring as well. But first, actually let me do the contouring first. I'm gonna do the contouring first. So let me see, I got the shades Honey, Sand, and Warm Sand. So I'm gonna see which shade might be the best for me as far as contouring. By the way, there is 20 different shades in this concealer, uh, which I think is a fair amount. So that's Honey, ooh, I think Honey might be the winner. Ooh, yeah, Warm Sand is not the move. I think Sand is the move, or Honey. Honey, Honey's the move, Honey's the move. Um, I feel like they could go a little bit deeper in the shades. I don't know how far this goes or what I'm about to endure. We shall see now. Ooh, that's, that's full coverage. Um, okay, work. Um, it's gonna take my beauty blender. Ooh, this blends out really nice. I don't know how I feel about the shade, but the blendability is really good. The doe foot applicator definitely reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape. It's a little bit tinier and it's more triangular. And I actually like these fat applicators for concealer. Oh, by the way, there is 0 0.50 fluid ounces. That's quite a bit of product, I want to say, for concealer. So you're getting a lot of, a lot of product. A lot of bang for your buck, if you will. Before I blend out the rest, I'm going to get my powder ready. Uh, ColourPop is also releasing some powders and pressed powders. I have already gotten my shades out, but these are the rest of the shades. There's going to be a banana. There's going to be a medium deep, um, a light. There's going to be a fair, light, medium, medium dark, dark, and deep dark shades in this. Um, I pulled out dark and light because I'm going to try to bronze and contour with the shade dark, and I'm going to set my face with fair and translucent in the loose setting powder. And these are gonna retail for $9, both of the products, $9. I will say it's definitely tiny for translucent powder. Um, you're getting about 8.5 grams of product, so that's not a lot. Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, you're getting 29 grams, so you can see the difference. But I'm gonna set my face with this. I'm just gonna get this ready for setting my face. I hope the Too Faced concealer doesn't dry fast. Yo, this stuff blends out like butter. So I'm taking the powder now and I'm just stamping that under my under eyes. It says it's translucent, but I feel like it has a little bit of coverage to it. This uh, 
the translucent powder, I feel like it just has the tiniest, 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 tiniest amount of coverage to it because it is giving me a little bit of brightness and color to the under eye, which I am enjoying. I have not been this impressed by complexion products in a long, long time. I am obsessed with both the foundation and this concealer, and I'm not mad at the powder either. I feel like the powder is a little thick, um, so if you do have a little bit of texture under, under your under eyes like I do, it will be emphasized a little bit. So now, let's try out the um, No Filter Sheer Press Powder. I don't know how good this is going to be for setting the face and like keeping it for an all day, especially if you have like oily skin. I, don't, I, I couldn't attest to that, but I feel like it's doing a pretty damn good job at mattifying my skin and not adding too much coverage. Neither here nor there about this. I feel like if you do purchase anything from this, get the powder, the loose powder, and the foundation. You can kind of skip the pressed powder. I feel like you're not, you know, I feel like you're not missing anything. I'm gonna try the shade dark to kind of add a little bit more depth. I feel like medium dark might be a little bit better. So I'm gonna try medium dark and see if this might come off a little bit darker. Okay, they're not joking when they say sheer, because this is, this is definitely sheer. Oh, I didn't know if you guys can tell, but I also got chin filler. I'll talk about it more in my get ready with me. Update, love the foundation, love the concealer. So far, that is, so far. Sort of love the loose setting powder. It's a little bit thick for my liking. So it's maybe just one of those powders that I need to use a less, less product with. The pressed powders, they're like neither here nor there for me. Um, I think the two showstoppers for me right now is the concealer and the foundation. It's seriously blowing me away. Moving on, we have the new Fenty Beauty foils, kilowatt foil. Um, I got the one that is Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. I may blush my face a little bit, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little, a little bit with this one. Maybe put that on my eyes later. And then for highlighter as well, I got the Anastasia Okay, seriously, how do I get these things dirty so fast? I got the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. Listen, ABH, sweetie. Love you, hey, Norvina? Norvina, hey. Um, can we have single pan highlighters again? Remember, remember that? Can you bring that back? Can you? Um, moving on. Um, the Dream Glow Kit. Dream Glow Kit is this guy right here. We have six iridescent shades. I guess it's like the toned down version of Moonchild. If Aurora and Moonchild had like an an ugly stepsister, that would be Dream. <laughs> These shades are not screaming my name. I'm gonna start off with Sunshine. I'm using my Morphe M501 brush. You guys can use code Thomas at checkout. I mean, are we shocked? I mean, are we shocked? I mean, I'm I'm kind of shook, but like like the kind of shook where I'm like, I mean, I knew I was gonna be shook. Okay, okay, this sunshine is really pretty. Oh, they should release the shade as like a single pan. I'm telling you, ABH, girl, release release sunshine as a single pan, please, please, and bring back the old ones. It definitely gets hella dirty pretty fast. She's okay. She's cute. I'm just tired of the palettes, of the highlighting palettes. I think ABH has milked that cow to the bone. And it's time to stop. Sangria Sunset, the purple shade, as like, like a little, a little, a little kiss. A little kiss of blush, you know? A little. I'm barely tapping and she's, she's on there. I'm, I'm mixing a little bit of Mimosa Sunrise, just a little bit. It's making the highlight a little purple and I kind of dig that. And these can be used as eyeshadows. Let me try, let's, let's see what she looks like with flash. Well, maybe I'm just that pale that you can't fucking see it. So that's canceled. Okay. All right, you guys. I think it's time to talk about these. The Jaclyn Hill Bulk Collection. 
There is four eyeshadow palettes that are coming out July 26th, the same day as my merch. Thanks a lot, Jacqueline. I can't wait to sell no units because of your ass. Just kidding. Um, so there is four different palettes. They all have tin shades. This is the palette Ringley Alarm. This is all warm tones. Then we have Bling Boss, which I probably am going to use today, which is purpley tones. Then we have Dark Magic, which is mostly cool tones, which I will never touch, probably. And then we have probably my second favorite in this collection, which is Armed and Gorgeous. Oh, look at those shades. Those scream summer slash fall. Like, this screams the transition between summer and fall. No? Just me? Okay. But I think I'm going to go into Bling Boss today. I'm obsessed with shades like that. And also trying to t like do like a purple look today, like a monochromatic purple look or something like that. So if these are anything like the original Jaclyn Hill palette that came out with Morphe a year ago, then I have a feeling that they're going to be amazing. Um, $15 each, and then I think it's like $50 for the, whole, the set of four. It's a good deal, and then with my code THOMAS, you can save coin off. If you are interested in using my code, you don't have to. I'm not forcing you to use code THOMAS. But I mean, if you want to use code THOMAS, use code THOMAS. I'm just saying. I'm not going to swatch all of these. I'm not doing a full in-depth review. I feel like by now we understand how Morphe shadows work. It's always a hit or a miss. We're going to keep it pretty simple. I'm going to first go into the shade Hush Hush. Going to run that through the crease. By the way, I have my eyes already primed. I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. My favorite all-time primer ever. Seriously, such a good primer. I feel like this palette is like the perfect like date night palette. Okay, so, so far so good. I, I do need to clarify that I do not set my eyelid primer anymore. Stray away from a lot of Morphe products besides their brushes because their brushes are my favorite. Only because I know a lot of people hate when they have Morphe thrown in their face. It's just so hard because honestly, Morphe is like one of my personal favorite brands as far, not just because I work with them as far as their affiliate program goes, but their brushes are honestly some of the best brushes on the market. Like, I don't see any difference between my Morphe brushes, brushes, and my Sigma brushes. I just don't. I know that's going to be controversial for me to say, and I get it if you don't want to believe me, if you think I'm, like, biased to Morphe, but that's, like, honestly my, my honest opinion on that. This shade is very, um, you just got punched in the eye. You know what I mean? Like, it's very, like, someone punched you in the eye, and you need to go ice it. I think I'm going to keep it simple with the look that I'm going to do today. Just because I am a basic ass, boring ass whore. So I'm going to go into the shade Rockstar with my Morphe R39 brush. And Rockstar is like this deep plum shade right here. There is some fallout that's hitting my, my cheeks. Yo, this purple is actually really pretty. All right, so my first impressions. I'm just having a hard time blending the shades. It's taking me a little bit of a long time, a little bit of a long time to blend those shades thus far. Um, the colors are pretty with the two shades that I've used so far. I don't know, um, maybe it's just this palette, but maybe the purple tones are just the tiniest bit harder to work with. I obviously don't know how the rest of these palettes work, how the other shades in these palettes work. I'll definitely give you guys like my updated review later on in a, in a later video. You know what, I think I'm just gonna put Mystic all over the lid and then maybe put a little bit of glitter glue on top and then just do a really cute halo eye moment. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just taking a little bit of my NYX glitter glue, gonna put that on the center-ish of the lid, maybe all over the lid, and then I'm gonna put either Gem or Ballsy on the lid. I don't know yet. Okay, so basically what I did, um, and I don't know if I like, is I put Jim all over the lid, and then I put Ballsy on the inner corner. I don't know how I feel about, I, I'm gonna be real with you guys, I do not know how I feel. I feel like it's just a little bit patchy. So I'm just gonna finish up the eyes off camera, and then I'm gonna leave, and then we can come back with either the final look or the lip product. I don't know if I even have a lip product for first impressions, but I'll be right back. And um, yeah, so let's uh, 
Let's get this shit done. Okay, so I'm done with my makeup. Just some thoughts right now um, about the foundation. I am looking a little oily, so if you are on the oily skin type, I feel like natural matte is kind of like, yeah, it's a natural matte, but it's not fully matte. Or if you are someone that has oily skin, I don't know if this is going to do that well of a job keeping you matte throughout the day. And I will say that the foundation is starting to like seep into my pores and kind of seep into like my fine lines. So I don't know, it was good at initial application, but now I'm just like, mm, I don't know. I don't know really how I feel about the foundation right now. Um, I'm gonna have to play with it some more. As far as the concealer goes, I love the concealer. I love the palette. Although it's a little patchy and a little bit hard to work with, I think the palette's all right for the price. Maybe it'll probably be a little bit easier to work with over a base that's set first, and it might be a little bit easier to blend. Um, I'm not wowed by the palette like I was with her initial palette, but I, again, I only tried one of the palettes, so I don't know how the other ones perform, and I'll definitely keep you posted on that. I didn't have any new lipstick to show you guys, so... The pressed powder did not do much for me at all either. It didn't really do much with setting my makeup and keeping it matte throughout the day. So I would say pass on the pressed powder from ColourPop. The primer, I think it's a little overpriced and a little bit overhyped for what it did and what it's doing for my skin. I don't see any sort of smoothness or like blurringness going on. I feel like it's just like any other blurring primer out there on the market. I love the Fenty Beauty foil shadow thing. I sh oh, I should have used that on my lid today. Oh well, too late now. As far as this guy goes, this you can pass up on. In fact, I'm gonna try going into Ethereal, which is that purpley shade, and seeing if that can give me some, some cool effects to the highlight, maybe. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Oh, and another thing about the palette, there is some fallout, so if you don't like fallout, skip on it. But besides that, this was a fairly good first impressions. The, my first one in a long time, so I'm pleasantly surprised. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting me and supporting my last video. Don't forget to buy my merch June 26th. It drops on shopthomashalbert.com. I'll be at BeautyCon LA the 14th and 15th hosting a meet and greet. You need the social upgrade package to meet me. I know, I know. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah.